Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. My name is Elder and this is the quick tutorial showing how to manage the navigation menus in Blocks websites using the primary menu. And I want to focus on drop down menus because this is one of the questions from one of my customers, my friends. So basically I want to show you how you can easily use the menu manager, which you can access from the sidebar here in the, in the inspector. And when you click on this, you get this menu manager, of course, or you can also access it from this bottom corner. You can see menu manager, or if you click on window menu manager. So from here, you can access the, all of the links and you can link them to the proper pages and so on. So it is quite easy to see how this is working for the regular menu. So let's say we want to add the about page and we will, take, we will uh, link it to about page. Right now I don't have it, but whatever. Let's say that this is about page. We click save. We can drag and drop these links wherever we want like this. Very simple. And when we don't need it, we can delete it like this. But what about the drop down menus? Because if we go to preview, you will see that here we have the drop down menu. And for drop down menus, you can see this link is topics. And instead of page, which says page, page, page here, the drop down menu says menu. And I set it using this option here. There are three options in the drop down uh, in the menu manager, or four options, I guess. Navigate to page, navigate to URL, and open menu. So open menu will open the menu, and when you choose which menu you want to open, of course, right now I only have one option, drop down links here. And to edit this menu, the edit the links in the drop down menu, all I need to do is to switch the target menu option here to drop down menu links. And here I have the three links available. So if I were to create a new menu, let's say, well, let's say I would like to add the new link and call this offices. And I will save it for now because I don't have any other links. So I will create the new menu. I will call this the offices list. And I will add the office one office 2, office 3, and so on. So we can add as many as you want. And of course, you need to link them to the proper pages. So right now, I don't have any offices here. But let's say that this is what you would want to do. And now, when we go to primary menu and click on this offices link, we have an option to open menu and we will just select the offices menu, offices list uh, menu here. And this will give us this, you can see four offices here in the drop down menu. Now, I don't necessarily like to use the primary menu for my websites. I prefer to use the source set to none. When I do that, I can just manually click on any of the links and change, you can duplicate them. So, so and change the links to whatever I want. So right now this list is using offices list. Again, I can set it to none, select the list item, duplicate it, change the text and so on. I think that this is the best way to go. But if you have two complicated, very complicated menus in your websites, and you want to have some kind of structure preset using the uh, primary menu or menu manager, I select, I recommend to select the list, switch to primary menu. You can always reset it here if you want, if you mess up with your menu or if you have some errors, you can always reset it to the default menu you built in primary menu. And inside this menu manager, you create the structure you want for all of the links, all of the menu, drop down menus. And then when you need a little bit more, you can go inside and change the specific color, specific links. Because as you know, when you're using the source set to none, it is more flexible. And in addition to three types we had for the menu manager, so navigate to URL, navigate to page and open menu. Of course, we have much more scroll to target, for example, e-commerce options for some 
e-commerce stuff and emailing, telephone link and so on. So that's it about uh, making drop down menus in using primary menu. And if you have any questions or need any other tutorials, please let me know and I will do my best to record them very soon. Hope everyone has a nice, have a nice day and I will talk to you in the next video.